I don't know how much longer I can resist it. Well, shit, me neither. <laughs> you and welcome back today we are playing Baldur's Gate 3 we are still at Lost Light I all I can say today for an intro is that I love love the music here because it reminds me if you're Dutch Vliegende Hollander oh I know I know <laughs> But also a little bit of Final Fantasy, it's just so nice. We have to do a long rest. We also have a cleric waiting for us upstairs, but I haven't checked everything out here yet. But look at my health. And you guys suggested, hey, it's been some time since you long rested, so maybe do that right now. So they keep talking. I'm gonna go to camp. I'm just gonna immediately long rest. Yes. I figured because we are in the inn, we can just long rest in a bed this time, but apparently not. Oh, what's happening? <laughs> That's Playtime's over. Oh my god! She's back! Oh, I love this time of year. The dickheads start popping up wherever you look. Of course, we're the cursed what lads. Do you want, Mizora? Drop the attitude and perk up your ears. You've got a new mission. Ooh! Absolute's cult has gone and grabbed one of Zariel's assets. A devil. And a powerful one at that. Oh. They're locked up in the cult's fortress. Moonrise. Moonrise Towers. And you're getting him out. Everything is there. Everything leads to Moonrise Towers. And I love that Karlak is defending Will and me that she's here as a freaking bodyguard. Like, oh, look, a dickhead has come showing up again. I love this time of year. <laughs> She's so cute. She's my mama girl. <laughs> All right, and this is our problem. How exactly? Well, Will is kind of indebted to her, so I don't want to get Will in trouble. Forget it. This acid can rot in the towers for all I care. If this devil is so powerful, how did they manage to get captured? Good question, I might say. Well... Your playmate's wasting precious time. Playmates. Let's see about getting her priorities fixed. Oh no. Ahem. <clears throat> Clause Z, section 13. Should promised soul refuse abeyance or neglect duty, the pact holder shall cast the promised into a vernus as a lean mule. Yeah, shit. Fine! Now make it simple. I got it. Will fails or refuses. And he turns to a thick blob of stink flesh and sinks to Avernus. Oh, no biggie. Now, be a good boy and play fetch, pup. Or you'll spend an eternity sizzling in the hells. Mazora's words may be flippant, but they are tinged with desperation. She cannot afford for Will to fail this mission. This may be your best chance to negotiate Will out of his pack. Really now? I love that I'm so perspective. Right. Rescue your asset on one condition. We do this and we cut Will free. One last mission and he's out. That's my idea. I will make sure it's done. No, 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 no. One condition. We'll rescue your asset on one condition. Oh, and what condition is that? Be free will. Your mind links with Wills, drawn in by his increasing panic. Don't worry. What are you doing? I'm trying to free you. Ha, ah, respond to Will in your mind, trust me. You end Will's pact and go separate ways. Shake your head, never mind, you'll do as Mazora says. Uh, I kind of want to respond to him. I kind of want to respond to him and reassure him, but I don't want to miss my chance with you end Will's pact. I'm just gonna go, hopefully, it will still give me the chance after, but trust me, Will. Will relaxes, and your connection fades. Oh, he trusts me. That's really cute. Mizora will rescue the asset if you release Will from his pact. Never mind, we'll do as you ask. Fuck no, we've come this far. All right, Mizora will rescue the asset if you release Will from his pact. Interesting. Now, why should I go letting my favorite pet off his leash? Because you're desperate, that's why. We could always let the cult infect the acid. I bet they'd make a loyal thrall. Oh, <laughs> poor Will. Remember all you can about devils and their contracts. Performance. Say you know a pack breaking charm and Sean series of pseudo infernal phrases. Never mind, we'll free the acid. 
I got one from Charisma. I do have Intelligence Dare of the History Intimidation 1. I don't want to do that. I don't want to shock Will either. So I'm going to try and do History. Remember all you can about devils and their contracts. Let's go. Oh, I don't know if I have inspiration points, but we'll see. Please, please. Are you joking? Are you joking? Oh, I got one inspiration. Two? Two? This better work. This better work. This better. I want a free will. Are you joking? We're freeing will, bitch. <laughs> Goodbye. You recall an old incantation from a children's story said to void a devil's contract. Abi diabole et nunquam ready. Go, girl. All right, say it. I I'm not going to repeat it. <laughs> I can try, but it's not working. All right, Abi diabole et nunquam ready. <laughs> What's so funny? What's so funny? Oh, yeah, you agree? I've never seen such a fearless display of sheer idiocy. Bravo! Why don't I believe you? Fine. Oh. I'll play your oh. game. But it works! I amend the pact once the mission's done, not before. That works. Clause F, Section 9. Soulbinder shall bestow reward or favor only upon soul bearer's fulfillment of related obligation. She's kind of cute, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> to Moonrise, pet. And do you mind the shadows? They've been especially hungry. Mm-hmm. Especially hungry, huh? Great. Well, how fun was that? Oh, hi, Carl. Like, I love that you're still here with Roach. <laughs> he's still with me. He's so cute. I'm a little afraid that he's gonna disappear once I long rest, but he's so cute. Hey, Carlac. Look at this new cat. Are we safe here? Because we're not in the cleric's magic circle. I just figured if we're at the inn, we would sleep there, but oh well. God damn it! Why did it have to be Mizora? Why did it have to be Zariel? We're supposed to risk our necks to get one of her assets. <laughs> what if it's a runaway like me? Or something uh, far worse? Yeah. You heard Mazora. This is the last thing Will has to do for her. Then he's free. After what Will sacrificed to save you, it's time to repay the favor. Hmm. If we don't help Mazora, we'll turn Will into a lemur. Could you live with that? We'll cross that bridge when we get there. I'll go with that. If we don't help Mazora, we'll turn Will into a lemur. Could you live with that? Look. Will's happiness is my happiness. Oh. I'd sooner see myself a lemia than him. But it's a bad idea to play games with the devil. You never win. Not ever. We're smarter, Carlac. I'm gonna keep you safe. Well, I stretch, don't mind me. I gotta stretch before I keep you safe. I'm gonna keep you safe, baby. Don't you worry. Hey, you. Oh, now she's happy. Okay, you'll keep me safe. All right, that's it. Hey, Scratch, if anything new to say in Act 2? Hope you're keeping well, friend. So cute. So cute. I gotta pet him. How can I not pet him? Look at that cute little muzzle. Look at you. So don't get eaten by the shadows. Do not get eaten by the shadows. You have your owl there, friend. Yep. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. So cute. All right. How's the owl bear? You okay, baby? You smell very delicious, but I will not bite you. And I'm very glad for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Magical pets. He loves the magical pets, the owlbear. Alright, bye baby. Okay, I also... <laughs> Listen, I also have a crate that I totally forgot about. And there might be a cat inside. And that cat might be dead. <laughs> because it's suffocated in the crate because I forgot about it. Where the fuck is the crate? <laughs> I think I might have sent it to camp. Shit. Where's my box? Hey, Asterion, I'll go talk to you after you try to make a deal with the actual devil. You didn't involve me with that. Alright, where the fuck is that crate? <laughs>
I can't find it. If you guys see it, let me know. I, I seriously, I can't find it. <laughs> what? Oh, well, great. Jesus. All right, let me talk to my boy here. Hi, how are you doing? You know, I feel a connection between us. Like we're two souls walking the same path. Are you truthful? You might be a little naive in the ways of the world, but I see promise in you. Ambition. Mm, well, I see the same ambition in you. I'm a little bit wary, as much as I truly am in love with Asterion. I'm a little bit wary because he said, I love you, and he, it was clearly a lie. And now I'm a little bit wary of what he says to me, and if it's actually truthful or not. But I think he's being sincere here. What do you mean, naive? I'm listening. Trust me, I'm nothing like you. I thought you hated me, but you but you didn't care to bone me. <laughs> Alright, so what do you mean, naive? Uh, just that you have a big heart. Ah. You like doing what's right. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking, what would be the right thing to do when we get to Moonrise Towers? What are you doing? When we come face to face with whoever is controlling the parasites in our heads. You're worried. You're worried I'm going to make the right decision, but it's not the right decision for us? To destroy the cult and end its evil forever. I'm going to get rid of this worm and then get back to my life. Seize control of the cult ourselves. Don't tell me that's what you want. That is what he wants. <laughs> what are these? Um, and it's evil forever. I kind of like the worm. <laughs> Well, not as much as I want to keep it, but it gives me powers and I want to get to the story and then eventually destroy the cult. So, yeah, okay, my end goal is to destroy the cult and it's evil forever. God, just try to think outside the box just a little. I knew it. Consider the parasites in our skulls and think how many others have the mind flayers infected. Hundreds. Thousands. They're all going to Moonrise. And they're not just goblin trash. There are powerful people in the Worm's Thrall. Ambition. Huh? Whoever's waiting for us at Moonrise Towers controls it all. But if we can take that control from them, imagine the power we'd wield. Are you so desperate for power because you felt powerless for so very long as a vampireling slave? Is that why you ache for it? I don't think that's the right idea for us, and not for you either, Asterion. Evil power, I won't do it. And how would we do that exactly? Until we transform into mind flayers, you mean? Hmm, it's a tempting idea. How would you do it? Not because I agree, but because I'm curious. What does he have in mind? I mean, I assume there's some device controlling these things, so we find you assume. out. Uh, murder some people and, um... Look, I'm not a details person, all right? Bigger picture. But turning up and causing chaos has worked for us so far. I'm just saying, there's an opportunity here. Honey. If we can control the tadpoles, we can keep ourselves safe and liberate the world from this evil. People who want power are probably not the ones who deserve it. Get rid of this evil forever, but become the new evil. That's not for me. No, absolutely not. I'll consider it. Or we could just enjoy having all that power. I'm sorry, Asterion. This is not the way I want to go through things. And I know you mentioned, yeah, you got a big heart, but you have ambition, but not this kind of ambition. Not this. I'm sorry. He's not gonna like it, but that's not how I conduct things on this channel. Consider me naive, but I believe the true naive thing is you. So much for thinking you had ambition. Oh, are we Still, bickering? We're not there yet. Maybe you'll see the light. I don't yet. know. <laughs> well, you stay at camp because we're arguing. I'm kidding. We're fine. We just had a conversation. And you're very pretty. <laughs> hmm, interesting. It's not going to happen, Asterion. I know you seek power, maybe to protect himself. Because he doesn't want to ever end up as a slave again. I understand. 
But we don't want to become our old masters. No, we don't. Hey, Shadow! I should bring you, by the way. I should totally bring you, because this, these seems to be the Shadow Lands. You probably have a lot of things to say. Lady of Sorrows, guide us. Did you want something? <laughs> well, you're very happy. Remember when you told me night orchids were your favorite flowers? I have it! I have it! I picked one up! Rings a bell? Why? I have it for you! It just so happens I have one right here. No reason. I'm gonna give it to her. Oh, hells. You didn't pick that by hand, did you? They're deadly poisonous. What? Joking. Oh. They're safe. You little I'm shit. Beautiful. Thank you. You got me. I don't have anything to give you in return, I'm afraid. It's a gift. I'm sure you'll come up with something in time. It's just a token. I don't expect anything in return. Well, I better take it back then. <laughs> you don't deserve it. I'm kidding. It's just a token. I don't expect anything in return. Well, perhaps I can come up with something later. All the same. All right, if you want. Ah, oh, Ketherick Torm, what do you think of him? He was the paladin for the Sharans. So, w what do you think of him? Difficult to say. A fellow servant of the Night Singer would surely be an ally to me under most circumstances. But something doesn't add up. I'll need to see where his allegiances truly lie. Indeed. Join me. I'd join you, but things are looking a tad crowded. You'll need to make room for me. Ah, there you go. So that's the patch. Ah, Lazel. I'm sorry, Carlac, but I want Lazel with me for now. And uh, Starry has got to go here. So, okay, take Carlac's place. Wonderful. I was beginning to feel a little left out. I'm sorry. I don't mean that. To bloom in darkest night. Interesting. Is that Will? Yeah, let's talk to Will after the event. Wow, we had with Mizora. Wonder how he feels about it. I negotiated for you, babe. How can I help? Mm, how do you feel about your doom mission? Is Mistra always such a demanding goddess? How are you feeling? It can't be easy facing the possibility of death. How are you feeling, foremost? Oh, you know me, never the optimist. I'm trying to focus on the positives. Yeah. Truth is, I was living on borrowed time already. I don't. Consuming those items would only have kept the orb sated for so long. If anything, I feel more at peace than I have in months. At least now I know my death will have purpose. It won't be a distant bang in the footnotes of history. I don't want to accept it, Gail. I don't want to accept that. I do understand the peaceful mindset, but he has surrendered himself to his faith and knowing it has purpose. It's so sad though. I don't want that for him. Is Mistra always such a demanding goddess? She expects those who seek to use the weave to do so honestly, and with respect for its potential to destroy, as well as its potential to save. I doubt she's asked many of her followers to blow themselves up. <laughs> You're special. She she's bequeathed exclusively to me. Look at you. She wouldn't ask such a thing if it weren't our only means of survival. Mm, you sure? However much she's annoyed at me. If you say so. You know her better than I do. Still don't trust it, Gail. Still don't trust it. Hey, ooh, can we talk to you now? You got your own little cam. That's new. Hey, Will. The more bullshit she pours, the more of it I'm forced to swallow. One lost, one lost Mazora mission. Mazora set me on fiends inside and outside the hells. She's never ordered a rescue. God. She makes a mockery of everything the blade stands for. Such an asshole. I understand your frustration, but it's one lost mission. I negotiated you out of the pact, out of the deal, so we do this and you're free. She'll be gone soon enough. Do this mission and Mizora will free you from the pact. It's not like you have a choice. Do the mission or rot in the hells. I thought you were supposed to hunt devils. Doesn't this violate your contract? Yeah, because we're supposed to rescue him now. Any idea who the devil is that needs freeing? Hmm, I thought you were supposed to hunt devils. Doesn't this violate your contract? The same thought crossed my mind. I'm only to hunt the infernal, the demonic and the heartless. 
But nowhere was it stated that I can't help one. Right, fine. Either we find it, or I made a mindless blob clawing at demons on the front line of the blood war. I won't allow that. That's not going to happen. You mean too much to the Sword Coast. And to me as my friend. That's horrifying. I'm so sorry. So you're bound to be a Lemur. <laughs> no matter what. You are everything you accused Karlak of being. And I'm not sorry for you. That is so not true. He's a good man. It's not going to happen. You mean too much to the Sword Coast. And it means everything to me. Oh. I always knew what my future held. And I know I chose right. <clears throat> Thank you for sticking your neck out for me. Always. I mean it. But I'm not going to celebrate till I'm actually free. What was I can feel Mazora scheming, plotting. She won't let me go without making a fuss. Trust me on that. Now we'll make even a bigger fuss for you. Uh, Raphael is making a bid for Mole's loyalty. What do you make of that? Interesting that we can talk to Will about that, but not Asterion. Huh. A blushing apple begging to be plucked. He wants more than her loyalty. He wants her soul. Mm. Mole is an obstinate one. If she's of a mind to team up with Raphael, there's no changing it. We need to warn her away from Raphael before it's too late. If the bargain's a good one, she should take it. She'll make the right decision. You'll see. I don't know. I kind of want to keep her and Asterion away from him. Even though he's very attractive and I make a deal myself. No, I won't do that. Sure, Jan. But I think we should keep her away from Raphael before it's too late. Mm, we mm. should at least try. The girl's as bold as a lamb cavorting in a lion's den. But... I think she's clever enough to flee before the jaws close around her neck. I hope so. One way or another, she'll see there's no winning Raphael's game, and she'll walk away. He's persuasive, though. We should help her. And what if she doesn't? For her sake, I hope you are right. If she's smart, she'll hear him out. Fuck no. And if she doesn't? Then Raphael collects another trophy, and Mole sells her independence to the Hells. You've seen what happens when a bound soul reaches for freedom. I can't imagine what cruel penance Mole would pay if she were ever to resist that fell bastard. I like our conversations, Will. You're a good man. Okay, so can we talk to you now? Are you actually a member of our crew, officially? The Shadow Curse is upon us. As foul as I remember it. Perhaps even worse. But with the Oak Father's blessing, we may soon see it banished from these lands. Mm -hmm. We're in the midst of the Shadow Curse now. Is there any more you can tell me how to lift it? Yes. This land is more than just soil and rock, root and leaf. It is a living being in the form of a young fey boy with the forest itself in his eyes. His name is Daniel. I've met him in my meditations. We should save him. But since him. the curse was unleashed, I have not felt his presence. He is its prisoner, I fear. No. And as long as he remains so, his domain will lie in darkness. But if we can find him, we can break the curse. If you learn anything of the Shadow Fell, or of a boy with the forest in his eyes. Find me at once. I will. That's so intriguing. Also, I really like Helson. <laughs> what should I look for exactly? I can't be exact, unfortunately. Time and the Shadow Curse won't have been kind to any traces that would have been left behind. A living witness is unlikely, I'll admit. But perhaps there'll be an unliving witness. Oh. Or some lingering echo of what we seek. Well, Don't I... worry. If you find something, you will know it. Speak to the dead, maybe. Well, I already asked this, but this now. Still feeling at home at here with... Oh, wow. Still feeling at home here with us. The surroundings are less bucolic, I understand. It's not easy seeing the ravages of the Shadow Curse. But your camp is a most welcome solace. Can't you join You've shared me? your fire with me. Your company. A small pocket of light against the darkness. 
but one I couldn't do without. Thank you. You're welcome. That's so sweet. I'm the light. <laughs> You're welcome. Perhaps I can share more. Ooh. I'm not this forward. I let men come to me. <laughs> I don't know about that. I, I'm intrigued, but then I have to consider Asterion, who I dearly adore. But he is very tempting. <laughs> Welcome. Perhaps I could share more than a campfire and some company. Don't get too sentimental. I had need of a guide in order to survive the curse. Well, he's not really much of a guide, is he? I'm glad, but let's keep focused at the same time. Listen, I would never say this. That is way too forward for me. If you do that, I'm so proud of you. That's so brave. <laughs> but that's just not me. Oh, but I kind of want to... I'm gonna let him come to me. I'm gonna let him come to me. I mean, I'm definitely intrigued, but everyone else has come to me. I'm gonna let him come to me too. So, you're welcome. You're too modest by far. What fate would I have met without you? Stop. Rotting in the goblin cells? Dying against an onslaught on the grove? More good has been done since I met you than in a hundred years before. Oh. Words cannot express my gratitude. Oh shit, shit indeed. <laughs> shit, 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 shit. I just love his voice, it's so nice. Oh no, can you stop? Can you stop? Maybe you could, why are they pushing me to be forward? I'm getting, I'm gonna go red. Maybe you could show your appreciation another <laughs> Get down on your knees, boy. <laughs> no words needed, I understand how you feel. I so want to say this, but it's just not me. Ah! I kind of want to flirt. I kind of want to flirt. Can I flirt? No. No, I feel like, nah, I don't want to take advantage of his happy, cute little face, big bolstering muscles. <laughs> I, 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 listen, he's so grateful, and I don't want to take advantage of that gratefulness either. You know, like, oh, maybe you can share. Oh, that's that's kind of a gross line, actually. I don't like that. No, no words needed. I understand how you feel. Yes, I think you do. Forgive me. Sometimes I forget myself, gazing on the beauty of nature's creations. I do profanity. Let him come to you, sis. <laughs> I fucking told you! I fucking told- See, this is what happens. <laughs> wow. Nature's creations. Hello! I don't even have to work for it. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. Oh, we're getting somewhere. Oh, I- Oh, I'm gonna be so conflicted now if he actually wants to romance. No. No. Asterian. Asterian. Aster- Oh. This is difficult. Anyway, I already asked this, so I'm gonna leave for now before I get too red. Beauty of nature's creation. Hello there, Jesus. Can I smooch you? Oh, he's, look how big he is. Oh, Jesus Christ. Stop it, stop it. No, no. You relax. Oh my gosh. We're okay. We are fine. Let's talk to Lazel. I haven't talked to you yet. We must press forward. Oh, you're looking Let's rough. Let's with Kethrick, then find Voss in Boulder's Gate. Agreed. I still have that necklace that warns me of the Yankee crash, but I'm not wearing it. Should I be wearing it before it actually warns me? Hmm. All right, that's that. Anything else? Beauty's creations, nature's beautiful creations. Hello, Sweep me up, do anything you want. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm going to take a little uh, ice stalks. Okay, I'll take that. You want some butter buns? Maybe some sausages? What's this? No, that's no good. No. Don't agree with that. Perfecto! 40. Booyah. Alright, something going to happen? Oh, am I getting a guardian visit? Because it wasn't hard enough to romance, like, maybe a Starion or Helson. My guardian's gonna come back. Or is he? Okay, a lot of white. Hello? 
You. What's happening? The voice of the absolute is strong here, and getting stronger. Whoa! I don't know how much longer I can resist it. Well, shit. Me neither. <laughs> Good to see you're making progress. Why are you showing me a nipple? Holy shit! <laughs> are you kidding me? Why is he naked? Half naked. You took an unexpected route here. You did a brave thing. Saving those people in the grove. Why is everybody trying to seduce me? What the fuck? is going on but you know how hard it is to stay loyal to Asterion look at that he showed me I'm a very loyal person <laughs> nipple <laughs> shorty shorts looking like he's from Roman times are you joking I'm okay <laughs> I'm, I'm not even listening to a word he's saying I'm like <laughs> holy shit all right um where, where am I? Uh, it wasn't even a choice. They needed my help. Right, we were talking about the growth. Yes. Reminder, we are talking about the growth, not his tiny shorty shorts. He looks so cute, though. Uh, it's not even a choice. They needed my help. It doesn't seem like my help did them much. Why would they put him in this outfit? <laughs> Why? Why would they do this to me? It didn't seem like my help did them much good. The just caught up with them here. Yeah, I'm worried about Savlon. It was a waste of time. I regret it now. I didn't do it for them. The goblins were in my way, so I killed them. It doesn't seem like my help did them much good. They still were caught. Don't be so hard on yourself. It's not your fault the world is wicked. You did the right thing. Jesus, look at you. Runs deeper than he's willing to show you. What's going on? What is it? Are you all right? Focus! Don't you dare drop my protection. Say nothing. Are you all right? Yes. Yes, I am. It just doesn't stop. Shit. We are being bombarded by waves of telepathic energy, wave after wave, with hardly a breath between them. I almost dare not rest. Each wave, a set of orders to the infected. The order for your transformation has been given many times already. Oh, I understand. My transformation. Is there anything I can do to help you? He's the only one keeping me safe. You won't give up, will you? So he keeps saying, why should I believe you? Do you know where the orders are coming from? I want to ask that because that's information to be had, but is there anything I can do to help? I feel bad for him. I'm afraid this burden is one I have to carry alone. I just hope my powers last long enough to see this through. In any case, the Absolute knows you carry me with you now. It wants to retrieve me. People are going to come after us then. What does the Absolute why does the absolute want you? Well, look at him. <laughs> I won't let that happen. Can I still count on you? Perhaps I should hand you over. Did you steal the powers to protect us from the absolute? Why does the absolute want you? Well, obviously, he's keeping everyone from turning, at least us, right? I'm just gonna ask anyway. I am the only one who can resist the absolute's influence. Hence its fear of me, its... its desperation. I see. Unfortunately, that also means it is dedicating more and more resources to my retrieval. I won't let you be taken. The task ahead is monumental. But we're all that stands between victory for the Absolute and freedom for all. This is not just about you and I anymore. It has become far bigger than us. You must infiltrate Moonrise Towers, discover the secrets of the Absolute, and put an end to it. So we can finally be free. You can. Now I must rest. And you must carry on. Do not let my efforts be in vain. 
Why would he put the... That looks too good. <laughs> too good. It looks too good. But I feel for him. Hmm. Oh, there's a lot of vines now. Hey, we can talk to Scratch. I'm worried. Alright, he sucked my neck. Can you actually use your power for me? There you go. Because somebody sucked my bloody neck again. There you go. I appreciate you. I am going to speak with animals before I forget to be a Scratch. Wants to talk to me. The guardian is so interesting. He's the only one who can resist the absolute's power. But his powers are dwindling because it's the transformation of me has the order has been given out for so so long, so many times, and he keeps resisting it for us. I feel bad. I want to help him. I want to free him. I want to free us all. Hey, Scratch. Dog is unable to speak through the small bag he holds in his mouth. What did you get this time? A hand? <laughs> what you got? Oh, money? I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. All I know is I thought of you when I saw it. I think they're feet. All right, well, thank you. I appreciate you doing that for me, lovely. I, I adore it. <laughs> Such a good boy. Thank you for bringing me stuff. You're the best boy ever. I don't know where that box is with the cat in it. I think I lost it. I don't know what happened. Oh, wow. Well, they're pristine, though. So I, I, I guess thank you. Oh shit, I got powers. I got tap holes, people. I didn't know that. Let's go. Alright, I'm guessing we're good to go. Let's check out the inn a little bit more. I think we're Looks fine. Like Alright, and we brought Shadowheart this time. Celebrate when Catherine's dead. Alright. So, a lot is happening. We're not gonna go upstairs quite yet. Because there's a door here too. Let me check out what's going on here. Oh! Whoa! Hello there. Can we talk? You're heading into the towers, are you? Yes. Good. I pray it's not too late for Duke Raven God. The flaming fists are here. Interesting. Makes sense. He still won't speak. Just keeps going with the bloody song. Oh, Nothing of use on his person. His original writ of duty, signed by Eltan himself. Fella must be one of the very first flaming fist. He must know something. Let's not give up on him yet. Hello there, counselor. Or whoever you are. I don't suppose you found a way into the towers. <sighs> not yet. What's with the fellow in the cot? Are the flaming fist just going to stand around here? I have no intention of heading there. What's with the fella? Isabel cleared this place, and he just appeared. We think he's staying at the inn when the curse fell, which means he's been trapped inside for a century. Jesus. Beggar's belief he's alive at all. Hopefully, he'll come round. Tell us something useful about getting through the shadows. Right now, he seems to have little more to him than a refrain from some song or other. We don't recognize this song? Ha, huh, what can you tell me about Isabel? I doubt that man will recover any time soon. I'd like to talk to him. What can you tell me about Isabel? Cleric of Saluna. Oh. She's got a room upstairs if you want to meet her. Just don't interrupt her while she's doing whatever it is that keeps this place shadow free. Hmm. Hmm, okay, but I, 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 that's not the man. That's Isabel. That's the cleric. I want to talk to the man. Wouldn't we all? I'm not even sure he's fully conscious, but... Feel free to say hello. Maybe a new face will inspire him. Unfortunately, I won't be here when he comes around. I'm heading to Baldur's Gate to seek reinforcements. If you can get there. The council sent a carrier pigeon with news that the city has been dealing with absolutist attacks. Of course. The Steel Watch is holding strong. I'll request that Lord Gortash send some of them to aid in the fight against Moonrise. The curse won't harm them. Mm. You know the name Gortash. A counselor with considerable influence on Baldurian industry and politics. But he is no lord. Maybe he has become one? What are the Steel Watch? You're leaving? Well, Duke Ravenguard is still captive in Moonrise, but she's bringing people from Baldur's Gates to fight at Moonrise, so she's just bringing reinforcements. Lord Cortash? I thought he was no more than a counselor. No offense, babe. How do you expect to reach Baldur's Gate? That's my question too, but let's go with Lord Cortash. 
Lord Gortash is the man responsible for the creation of the Steel Watch. It's no wonder he earned the title. Interesting. The Steel Watch are the future of warfare. Gondian automatons that can be sent into battle without risking any lives, except those of our enemies. Lord Gortash had only completed work on the prototypes before Ravengard and I left for Elteral, but even they were formidable. Interesting. With the Steel Watch at our backs, we can storm the tower whatever Ketherick throws at us. I'm sure of it. You're very confident. I'll do my best, but there's every chance I'll fall to the curse of all the cult before I reach the city. Don't count on me and assume no aid is coming. Oh, great. You're running Make away. <laughs> That harper's mind is as sharp as her blade. Follow her guidance. My witch. Farewell. We'll meet again, God's willing. God's willing indeed. Ah, I want to talk to the man who keeps singing the song, though. Nice to see a friendly face come out the shadows for once. You too, hon. An extra blade could be the difference between rescuing Duke Ravengard or losing him forever. I hope you'll help us. I was already planning to. We're discussing fist business, and you're no fist. Excuse me, your counselor actually counted on me with a big mission to rescue your Duke Ravenguard, so shut the fuck up! Oh, there you go. Is that him? Oh, let me talk to you first. Heard you're meant to be heading toward the towers. You heard right. Doing your job, you mean. Heard you're working on a way in yourselves. That's right, but I've heard this bedridden fella might be able to help. You wanna trade? <laughs> Fucking loser. <laughs> Alright, what about this bedridden fellow, huh? I'm not as hopeful as Floric. For my money, we're better off strategizing without him. Hmm. Catonic. Flame color. That's your name, isn't it? Art color? I'm Fistula. Thaniel and me climb, climb, climbing up a tree. He's beautiful. We need you, sir. One of our own's been taken, a Grand Duke. You might know something that could help us bring him back. We found him out in the shadows, just wandering. Jeez. Nothing survives out there for long. A century, Don't know though. how he made it, or where he came from. This is no physical ailment. It is a spiritual malaise. The man's mind has been gripped by the shadow fell, yet it has not broken. He's strong. I have heard the name Taniel from a friend of mine. Helsin! <gasps> Helsin! We need to bring Helsin. Is this the friendly, is this the embodiment of the spirit here? Can he hear you? What's wrong with him? Hey, let me have a look at him. That song, have you heard him before? He's singing about the embodiment of this place, but now because of this shadow curse, he has been disappearing for a very long time. I need to know more. I've heard the name Daniel from a friend of mine, Helsin. Really? Could you bring him here? Of course. You'd be glad of the help, wouldn't you, sir? Oh. Let me have a look at him. Oh, if you know how to get through to him, don't hesitate. Hmm, observe observe his present condition arcana it might be some magical affliction probe his mind i'm kind of interested in the tech thoughts yes <laughs> all right let's see Vanille. Vanille. repeat what you heard in his mind then you we are living, we are dead. Two of us safe to the end. How sad. Without a reminder of who he is, of what he held dear, his mind will remain lost to the darkness. We can't let that happen. Did you already check for personal effects? Flame Kulak, do you know where you are? Investigation, look closer at him. There may be something you missed. Let's try that. 
Come on, ten, ten. All right, I'll I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I just I was hoping it wasn't one. Then I'm fine. There you go. His fingertips sport calluses and toughened skin, as if from manual labor, or playing a stringed instrument, perhaps. A bard, maybe. Hmm, do you think the spirit, Daniel, was actually keeping this person safe because this person was dear to the spirit? All of them are dead, but the two of us remain safe. Huh, do you know where you are? Did you already check for personal effects? This was in his pocket. He doesn't seem to have any reaction to it now, but he held on to it for a hundred years anyway. What is it? Hmm, do you know where you are? If he does, he isn't sane. All right. A worn letter. Let's see. Art Kulach, Flame. Objective to obtain information about current activities in Moonrise Towers and its environs. Headed by Catherick Torm of the Regents and Serial Torm family. Orders take lodging in Last Light Inn and begin investigation in the local house of healing and then the curse hit and he was trapped here reports indicate corruption but no corrobation has yet been obtained note the region's torn family are long-standing devotees of Sunune, but rumors indicate sharon and clave might be gaining momentum investigate and report signed grand duke elton so he was at the house of healing wonder what he found the house of I should talk to... I need to bring Helson. I'm gonna go to Helson. Hello? We need to talk to Helson about this! He said the boy's name, and I mean the boy, the spirit embodiment of this place. Helson! Can you come a little bit closer? Why do I always get a bow? Where is he? Oh, there you are. You glitched into place, didn't you? Oh, I love that. Hey, so I might know something. You wish to speak? I do. There's a flaming fist at Lost Light. The curse has left him insensible, but he's muttering about a boy called Taniel. He is? Then I must see him. Insensible or not, let's he go. knows something. Yeah, let's I go. I will go to see him at once. Join me when you can. Oh, well, he glitched out of place. Oh, her panger, let me get that. Aww. Look at his little campsite, though. That's cute. All right, I'm going to go with Helson. <gasps> this should be good. Oh, finally, he gets something to do. I wish he could join the camp earlier or be an active companion earlier. <gasps> hey, can we talk to you? <laughs> Thank you and me. Climb. Climb. Climbing up a tree. This is so It's sad. true, then. He's met Daniel. There's no other way he'd know that name. This is just what we needed. Well done. Mm. We need to wake him. He must know something about where to find Thaniel. Any ideas? There must be another way to lift the curse. I'll see what I can do. There must be another way. Without Thaniel, no. And I don't know how I can find him without speaking to this man. Right. Any ideas then? If he was able to escape the Shadowfell, then it mustn't have managed to consume his spirit. Well, not all of it anyway. We need to unlock whatever's left of him inside his head. There must be something to trigger him. A word, a memory, an item. We just need to find it. What would it be? I'll see what I can do then. I don't deserve you, my friend. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, you do. I deserve you, though. <laughs> All right, let's see. Ah, can I read that? To those searching for the Grand Duke, our Flaming Fist Detachment is returning to Baldur's Gate for reinforcements. We have identified the Absolute Cult as Duke Ravenguard's abductors and that Moonrise Towers is their base, but we are too few to assault it. Upon our return to the city, I will urge the immediate formation of an ex- 
of an expeditionary force led by those new steel watchers to attempt a rescue of the Grand Duke. In the meantime, we could be wrong, so keep searching. Be stout of heart, help is on the way. Can I just get these? That's fine. Uh, well, I don't really want that. I can't just- I'm not stealing here. Oh, oh. Nah, that's fine. I don't want to go there. Alright. Hmm. What's this? Portrait of a woman. Beautiful portrait. I, you don't mind me picking that up? Oh, apparently not. I can just take whatever I want in this inn. A Harper's Testimonial. The last stand of Catholic Torm chosen of Shar. Ha, ah, the pursuant text describes a battle between Catholic Torm's faithful and magical Harper forces. I do not know what magic the Dark Justicar summoned to our place, but it came from the Weave. Then let it be cursed for eternity. For three days we seized the towers. For three days their dark bolts cleaved our ranks. And on the third day, as his men and women at last began to fell, Ketherick entered battle. That's pretty cool. Hey, I'll take that. Alright, thank you. Can we talk to Shadowheart while we're here? I haven't done that yet. May the darkness protect you. Well, there's enough of that here. <laughs> enough of that here. Right. Drink, you little devil. Do it. Excuse me. Hey, what's going on? I'm you are shout. Sorry. You are shouting, Roland. What the hell? There's another bottle of Arabellan Dry back there. Put it on the bar, then piss off and leave me alone. Jahira said we should serve drinks, but that we shouldn't serve drunks. Jahira didn't save your ragged little tail from the cultists. I did. He might be suffering of what he has seen, and there's two of his friends who were dragged away. So he's probably trying to forget about that or trying to deal with that. But this is no way to do it. Althira told me you're the reason her and the children escaped. I heard your siblings were taken by the cold. The kid is right, you need to lay off the liquor. Do you want to talk about your sorrows instead of drowning them? There you go. I'd rather drown than talk to a sanctimonious prick like you. Mm, to be expected. If you're here to save the day again, you're a little late this time. This time. Uh, Elfira said you risk everything to save her and the kids. It might not be too late for the others. Let me help. I'm getting tired of having to swoop in and rescue you all. Look, I just want to get out of this cursed hellhole. Elfira told me what you did. I tried. Maybe she'll write a ballad about me. She can leave out the part where my brother and sister were dragged away screaming while I was saving the orphans. If you hadn't filled their heads with all that self-righteous, heroic crap at the Grove, none of this would have happened. Oh, so I'm to blame now. Not the people, not the cultists, but I am. Do you know where they are? I'm sorry, fuck no. Then it's my responsibility to bring them back. Stop whining and do something about it. Do you know where they are? Dead for all I know. Or in the cult's tower with the others who were taken. They're better off dead than in the cult's hands. If they're alive, I'll rescue them. I'm sorry. I'll rescue them. I'm heading there anyway. They're my responsibility. Then stop drinking. That's not helping. You go save the world. Or your own ass. Or whatever it is you do. I'll fix this. Then stop drinking. You're not fixing much now, are you? Why can't I say that? Umi, you okay? I tried telling Mr. Roland that he'd had enough too. He didn't like it then either. I'm sorry. If this is about Roland, go away! I'm sorry he was mean. Ignore Roland, he's just a grump. No need to snap at me. Actually, I just wanted to drink. I'm sorry he was mean. He acts like he wished we weren't here. Like he wished he hadn't saved us. Yeah, it's not fair. I'm sorry. But he did save you. That's what matters. Ignore him. He's more mature, immature than you are. All this whining is making me wish he hadn't saved you. He did save you, but his guild is eating him up because because he saved you too. Or 
where the children, his sister and his brother were taken instead. So that's eating him up. But it's not your fault. And he did save you. That's what matters. And now we're just trying to save him from drinking himself stupid. I know you are. I get it. You are trying to look after him. A drunk wizard is a dangerous thing. All that con uncontrolled power. Stop interfering. Just stay out of his way and mine. I get it. You were trying to look after him. Yeah. He did save us after all. Yeah. Anyway, it's his loss. It is. What do you mean? Oh. I thought, like, maybe his loss because she or they weren't gonna look after him anymore. What do you mean, his loss? He'll be losing his mind and his lunch if he keeps drinking like that. How about a drink for me instead? I'm sure it is. See you around, kid. What do you mean, his loss? I found this book. Old, dusty, full of strange lettering. Oh? Pretty sure it's magic. Oh, you were want to give I it to him? I was gonna give it to Roland so he could learn new spells, you know? Oh. Beats drinking till he forgets the ones he knows. <laughs> Can I have it? Then why don't you keep it yourself? That's a great gift. I'm sure you'll love it. Can I have it? It's the Roland. Oh, I'm sorry. If you give it to me, I'll make sure he gets it. Give it to me, you Brad, now. Do you really want to give it to him after how he acted? Never mind then. He doesn't deserve it. <laughs> He doesn't the Oh, forces of the circle and the holy shit. <laughs> Look how many I got. Alright, well if I lose this, I'll laugh. Come on, I, I throw a one. Oh, there you go. Nothing to worry. Nothing to worry. Guess you can have it then. I don't care. Oh, I feel sad for them. Anyway, I'm sick of talking. You can go now. Bye bye. Bye bye. Well, thank you. The Way of the Wanderer. Let's open inventory. Mm, yeah, I got that. Let's see. How to convey that which I know deep within myself to be true. What that I would bring each of you reading these words into this head of mine, this heart of mine, feeling as one. Perhaps then I could speak what words fail to describe. That home isn't home unless you're far from home. That love isn't love unless it unleashes you. That the sky is infinitely big as long as you can always see it. Do I make sense? I think not. Perhaps the peripatic patter of these words can create some rhythm, expiriting the joy of feet on the road, but not but everything ahead. Is that it? Is that it? I'll send it to Gail, I guess. It was just a book. It wasn't really much magic. Hey, Harper. Good to see you're still breathing. It's the best we can hope for. Some of you guys mentioned, Kim, you already have the lantern from Nire. But they took my lantern, okay? I can't go into the shadows without my lantern. They took my fucking lantern. I expect me to do that. <laughs> like, Root, that was my lantern. Aw, oh, mug of beer, I'll take that. I still have it. I thought they... Oh. So I can just use it. No one back home will ever believe this. All right, good to know, good to know. I thought they took mine. That might be worth a look. I'll say that. Oh, okay. I promise. Kid. Excuse me. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hello. Open. Loose plank. A scribbled note. Can I just take these? Ha! Huh, the pages look like they've barely aged. How much longer must I languish here? I'd hoped to be in Baldur's Gate a ten day ago, but that blasted tool house keeper won't accept my papers. And father hears about this, he'll be furious. There's something odd about this village. People skulk around like they've got something to hide. The shrines to moon maidens seem ill-tended and barren. I'd hoped to learn about Ketherick Torm, the village leader, but talk of him seems to put people on edge. I'm not sure if I can bear another hour in this loathsome place. And what's this snowbust ring? Cold damage? Circle of Ice. Hello, that's for Gail. I missed that. Awesome. What did you miss? What's up? This place is awesome. There's so much stuff. 
Oh, hi. Oh, that's it? You're cute. Can I just take these? Apparently, I just can. I might be encumbered, but I can take these. Alright, I'm gonna send that to camp. I'm surprised I can just take these things. I'm not gonna lie. But I don't mind it. A mirror. Still me. Even after everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, anything else here? Blackboard. Can I use that? Apparently, I can't use that. Interesting. Is there anything else? We can go up. We've gone through there. What's that? There's a lever. Oh, that's a broom. I thought it was a lever. I was like, what? Alright, I'll take these if you don't mind. We're gonna talk to that cleric. But I want all of this wine. Come on, I gotta get all the wine. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Well, they allowed it, so they're like, oh, you know what? She saved us. She can do whatever the fuck she wants. <laughs> all right, let's see what's upstairs. Let's see, what's this? Well, we definitely don't need that. The cleric should be upstairs. I know you guys were talking. A lot of riggedy chairs, not much else. Hey, hello. I'll be honest, didn't think we stood a chance. Not till you came along. Oh, I know, I know, and you took my lantern, damn it! <laughs> well, no, I still have mine! You were something else out in the shadows. Won't forget it, that's for damn sure. Alright, well, that's good. I'm still upset, a little upset that I killed the drider because he was just really interesting and I wanted to know more about him. But unfortunately, I had to make a choice. I know something else is there. Another blackboard. Mug of ale, 4CP. Chopped cheek, 3SP. Daily special, inquire. Oh, what's the daily special, huh? A lot of those. I'm gonna give that. I'm just gonna consume everything. This is really pretty, though. Hmm. What's with this door? It leads to... Oh, Isabel's room. This is the cleric, right? Isabel, are you here? Isabel's diary. We can't read that. But she's not here. Okay. Well. <laughs> if she's not here. Let's see. Into the shadows. She's not seeing me. Oh. Is she inside? No. She's not. Ever since I returned, there's been a filth in me. I feel it in my very lungs. I cannot get it out. It will never get out. This death that reeks within me. There are some things even in Moon Maiden cannot heal. There are some things she would never accept in her devoted. I should never have come back. Are you infected? What's in here? I don't want a rotten carriage. I don't want a rickety chair. I want the wardrobe. Ooh. I'll take that. Thank you. I mean... I don't need a reflection to know this looks fabulous. <laughs> yeah. Hmm, more of those ropes. Let's see, what else we have? Mirror. Nothing on the herp hanger. Why you got a herp hanger then? Nothing else. Hey, there's a chest there. I'll take that, thank you. So where is she? Because I expected her to be here. Is that Salune? A bust of Catherick Thorne oh. as he once was. A devotee of Saluna. An elf. I expected a human for some reason. That's still silly of me. Catherick Swarm. Interesting. Alright. Do you think she's up here? Because I hear heard someone here. Ha, huh, nobody. Where is that person? Isabel! Oh, Isabel! Oh, are you Isabel? No, you're Harper. Take it easy while you can. We'll keep the watch. Thank you. Hmm. I don't see Isabel yes, quite wait. yet. If we're called, we join the fight against Catherine. But meet the true soul, we will land Shh. She's not here. Oh. This is another door. Oh! 
Oh, but she's busy. Maybe I shouldn't interrupt her while she's busy. <laughs> we crashed a mirror, like, hello. Um, should we? Can you see me? Oh, she's definitely, <laughs> I'm gonna steal her milk bowl. Can you imagine? Like now that's mine. <laughs> she would be so pissed at you, doom everybody. Can we, can we, can we talk? Oh shit, I interrupted her, didn't I? Whoa, she's gorgeous. So, you're dying, huh? Oh, that's pretty. Moonlight. She's a witch. Burn, heretic. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, Shadowheart. <laughs> Burn, you heretic. <laughs> Oh yeah, she's sick, all right. Is it the power that she's using? She can't deal with it anymore? Hey. I didn't realize I had an audience. Well, I didn't want to interrupt you, but I did. Oh. I didn't realize I had an audience. Uh, well, you didn't have to tell me twice. <laughs> oh, no, no, what's happening? What's happening? Wait, I don't want to skip it. I don't want to skip it. Baby, I don't want to- What's going on? No! What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, no. No! Oh, can, can I do that again? Wait. No, I don't want to miss that cutscene. Okay. I didn't realize I had an audience. Okay. Okay. Please let it go right. The oh, yes! The soul who's Oof. going to save us all. I'm Isabel. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you, you look so cute. I don't know why you glitched out there, but we're here now. Save you, and how do you figure that? And you, I've heard you're the protector of the sin, the banisher of the shadows. I may have the parasite of a true soul, but I'm not the mind of one. Word gets around fast. I know your name, but little else care to enlighten me. And you, I hear you're the protector of the sin, the banisher of shadows. Myself and Our Lady are doing what we can to hold the line. I hear you and your tadpole will be our offense. Free from the Absolute's influence, yet able to walk among cultists. Can we trust you? It's almost too good to be true. Is it? But I'd be a poor cleric indeed not to avail of a blessing when I see one. Hmm. Let me guess. Jahir has sent you to beg a protection spell of her favorite cleric. Ooh. Seek protection from the shadow curse. Hell yeah! Oh shit, Adora, it's like, ew, get it off me! <laughs> it hurts. Oh, actually, I was making a joke! Perfect. It was making a joke! It'll make you immune to the lesser effects of the shadow curse, which will get you closer to the towers. Oh, well, that's good. It won't be enough to protect you against the areas of utter darkness, though, where the curse is strongest. This lantern should, though. I already have a lantern, but I don't think I had a pixie. Ah, thank you. Now I must take my leave. Anything else I should know before we're heading off? Druid, you know you must know this curse well to offer this blessing. Can you tell me any more about its unnatural source? I... no, I cannot. I simply impart the blessings the Moon Maiden provides me. Really now? While you're busy in the towers, I'll be sure to... Wait, do you hear that? Something's wrong. What happened? Your powers? What, what happened? What happened? No, are we gonna get, get attacked? No, no, listen. Oh my God, what the fuck is that? <sighs> Hello, Isabel. Hello, hottie. Marcus, is that you? What's happened to you? I've been blessed. You can be too. Come with me. Oh, and no. you can hear all about it from Ketherick himself. Oh no, he has been corrupted. We lost him. Who are you? Isabel, do you know this man? I say we follow the winged freak. <laughs> He's not blessed. He is corrupted. Unnatural. <sighs> Pathetic. The Absolute sees all. You fool. The Absolute. 
Of course. You can't believe them, Marcus. Ketherick will never give you whatever it is you've been promised. He already has. Oh. Time to go, Isabel. No, she's the protection we need for the end. No, what do you mean? Constitution failed. You is the no, no, no. I did not expect this once we talked to the freaking cleric. Moon maiden, guide my hand. Shit, man. What about fool? What about fool? Well, Helsin's with me. Shield of the moon. Damn you. Oh my god, he's attacking her, alright. Okay, where the fuck am I? Ha, I'm gonna turn invisible. No, I don't wanna turn invisible. I, I got the moon lantern. Yeah, okay, we're all inspired. Lovely. Alright, you wanna, you wanna bite him? Yum! <laughs> Good job. Alright, let's see. Flourish. Enemy is surprised. How did you miss, baby? Try and pierce and strike him. Good job, very good job. Can you go here? This is bad, man. Survival is all that matters. I need to save them. Oh, everybody's getting attacked. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like this. All right, what shall I do? Oh, that's a lot, dude. Oh no, they're gonna get attacked then. Oh shit. This is bad! I can do that with the winged horror, but it seems a little much for just one. Hmm, what about you? I'm gonna help my people here. Target is out of sight, are you joking? Alright, then I'll just attack you. There you go, bitch. You bitch. Owlbear. Owlbear gets in the way. I'll be a panther again. Can I do anything? No. Provokes attack of opportunity. Let's see. Soul breaker. This is your end. Very good. Come on. Good job, girl! So proud of you! Alright, let's see. Can you shut up? Get him! Very good. I'm gonna keep attacking them. Because I want to save everybody, people. Can you shut up? Come on, Lazelle! She is killing it! Literally! Holy fuck, she's like one-shotting him. Ah, oh, well that's a shame, but she did really well. Um, I'm gonna go here as much as I can. Ooh, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you go? You coming to us? That's fine. Ooh, saved with damage light. Paralyzed shit, man. Why are we being attacked now? I don't like that. Right, I'm Shadowheart. You want a sunbeam? <laughs> well, we're all, I, everyone is in the way. I can do Spirit Guardians though. That's pretty cool. Let's go. Let's go with a great sword. And let's summon you here. While we move here. Yep, so you're attacked by my spirit summoning. Oh. oh what's happening? Helsin? Are you okay, dude? Where are you going? Helsin! <laughs> what's going on, Helsin? Hello? Alright, you're dashing. I can't see you, but you're dashing. That's fine. Okay, Helsin, good job. Oh, yay, there you are! I couldn't see you, mate. Ooh. 
This is bad. Oh, Jira! You'll make excellent fertilizer. Oh, <laughs> fertilizer! <laughs> nice! Holy shit! She's so badass! But she kills others as well! I'm trying to save as much as we can. Woo! No. Oh, nice! That was really stupid. Okay, alright, so we're gonna attack. What do you mean, not enough movement to fly over here and kill him? What do you mean, not enough movement? Jesus. Where are you going? Where are you going? This is a mess. Cost. Well, you're you're not gonna be alive. I'll do it my way. I'll do it my way. Piece of shit. Let's go. Very good. Wonderful job. To the death. To the death. Good job, baby. Very good job, baby. Can you go back? Yeah. I wonder if this is worth the cost. It's about to be. Okay. Lunch. Let's go, lunch. Good job. Now you're gonna jump right here. Open up. Hmm, that's ice. Let's go here. My feet can carry me. Good. We're getting somewhere! Hopefully. <coughs> oh, is Elfina alright? I saw her lying there. I think she's just knocked out, but shit. Who am I? I'm Lazel. Okay. Not enough movement for that. What about you? You're fine. Oh, Lazel, you bro girl. I kind of wanted to end the episode, but here we are again. Hmm, where are the moon horse? There's one there. I'm gonna go here. Come on, you're fine. What do you mean out of sight? B word. <laughs> All right, then go here. So I know somebody's there. It's an issue, but maybe. I can reach you from here. Maybe. I know. Let's try. <laughs> oh, but they got our girl, though. Shit. Okay. Oh, I gotta save the cat, though. <laughs> Huh? What do you mean? I want to try. Oh, I have to go through here? Like, no target to teleport. Ugh. Alright, let's try that. Strike hard, strike fast. Nice. Okay. Can I heal anybody who needs healing? I'm gonna sanctuary. Can I sanctuary the fucking cat? I can! Ah! Pick me up. I'm gonna save the cat, okay? <laughs> Listen, I don't want to. I don't want the cat to get hurt. No, we need to save the cat. Oof. Go, Helson. You guys okay? Watch out. Nice. Good job, everyone. One. Yeah, there's still one there. Well, the flaming fists are useless. Well, not you. You're amazing. But most of them are. Oh, you, you, you copy me, bitch. <laughs> I was the panther first. Oh, oh, she's still paralyzed. Can we finally fuck you over, dude? Come on. There you go. That's what I wanted. Good job. Hey, where you going? Ah! 
Wow, she is getting a rough treatment there. Come on. Oh, we gotta help you, yeah. Whoa. Less. Very good. So kind. It's kind of cool. But, um, I didn't quite expect this to happen, but sure, it's cool. Alright, let's see. Can I misty step somewhere? Who's left? Who's left? You're left. Is that the only one left? I think it might be the only one left. Okay. Oh, let me misty step here. Very good. So now... Let's find some prey. Ah, that's sad. <laughs> I tried! Alright. Good job. Sometimes the only way out is through. Yeah. Come on. Pounds. Leave it a target. Bite it. Ah, oh, it's too far. Can I bite you there? Can't reach destination. What if I jump? Provokes attack of opportunity. It's too far, pops it, drops it. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna dismiss my wild shape. I don't want the moonbeam. Hold on. Just don't want my boy to get hit. First step is the hardest. There you go. Does anyone need healing? Only that dude, so we're fine. Let's go. Alright, it's one left, people. We're fine. Da, da, da. I hope Elfina is alright. She doesn't seem to be doing great. Hello? I mean, I failed Constitution, which sucks because now our little tiefling was taken. Ooh. Which is troubling. Alright, so. Yeah, how the fuck am I supposed to get there? I can click my heels. Can't reach destination still, but I can't go here. No time to waste. Okay, I can do a ranged attack. Let's try. Nice people! There's the little parasite in that corpse. You should take a look. I bet. No time to rest. Jesus. That was a lot. Let me loot. Okay, that's the winged horror. Hey, half plate armor. Why would I steal? Isabel, are oh, you all right? Sorry. <coughs> Marcus has been with us since the start. They've been tracking us this whole time. Yeah, and he was corrupted. And that was no random attack. You were the target, Isabel. They know how important you are. You're holding but they the don't line. Know about you. Ketherick will strike again. We need you to strike first. Discover the source of his invulnerability. Make him mortal so we can make him bleed. I'll try. Good luck. Ooh, thanks, no pressure though, right? No more danger than I knew. If something happens to me, everyone in this inn is dead. Like that. I know. Why target you? Well, obviously, I won't let that happen. Then you better find a way to stop a second attack. You want to trade? <laughs> oh, you only got 13 gold. I won't let that happen. Let's hope your cunning is as strong as your optimism. Have you seen me? You're the key to all of this. Hmm, once I take Ketherick's head, you'll be safe again. I'm getting tired of hearing that. I never get tired of hearing that. You'll be safe again. No mercy. For Ketherick will have none on you. End this. All right. Well, can I? Why can't I get that? Hmm, this is one on stealth checks. Can I grab that? A great club. I can't seem to get that. Something Invisibility. Is... Damn. Blur. Hold on. Something is off. I'm getting a little bit of glitchiness here. Oh, there you go. That's better. I'll just be taking you, and I'll send this to Cap. Right, Jesus, he's naked now. Look at that. How intriguing this is, huh? I'll just give that to Asterion. What's this? Great club. Keep your distance, darling. 
<laughs> eep, 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 eep. So you got interesting as well. Yeah, okay. Invisibility. Use that for Shadow Heart. Well, you get this one because this one is even better. What's next, I wonder? Throw damage. No, I'm fine with you. You want to be invisible? You can be invisible. Alright, that's where's. Okay, guys, I'm gonna leave the episode here. It was really eventful. I did not expect to be attacked after talking to Isabel. I wanted to explore the inn a little bit more, but here we are. Anyway, I'm gonna leave the episode here. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, do not forget to leave a like because that really, really helps me out. I'm not just saying that. Subscribe if you for some reason have not already. And I guess I will see you in the very next episode of Baldur's Gate 3. See ya.